Okay, fine. I'm still in Toronto, but I'm going to Italy this summer. Yay! This year's summer capsule wardrobe is gonna be a little bit different because I'm actually going somewhere with it. Yes, I'm going to Italy for 40 days for a short course on sustainable fashion. <laughs> All right, calm down, Gloria. Anyways, this is the perfect occasion for a capsule wardrobe because although you can't realistically have a new outfit each day, you still get to look like you're wearing something different. I mean, you've got to look good. It's Italy, baby. In this capsule, I'm going to give myself a bit more options, but most of the pieces are things I already own in my closet, with just a few new pieces I added for this season. This is actually my summer capsule for the entire season, but I'll be bringing everything with me because I want to feel like I actually live there, not just traveling there. I've said this many times, a capsule wardrobe is not about limiting yourself, it's about serving your life. Without further ado, let me show you my summer capsule wardrobe, Italy edition. Since I'll be spending most of my time in Florence, let's check the weather. It seems like it's gonna be around 16 to 32 degrees. Jesus, make up your mind. Well, when it comes to my color palette, of course it's gonna be mostly black, white, and beige, as usual, and with a pop of red and a pop of blue. My lifestyle is gonna be going to school, exploring the city, meeting some friends, and possibly some dates. And the overall style is gonna be Tuscan summer vibes, obviously. A capsule wardrobe for a season typically consists of 30 to 40 pieces of clothing, and I'm gonna let myself have 40 pieces, with some additional accessories for styling purposes. This waist or neck tank top is probably my favorite summer top at the moment. It makes me feel like a cool girl and an old grandpa simultaneously, and I love the contradiction. And so is this black waist or neck tank top, but instead of looking like an old grandpa, it's more like something that a gym bro would wear. Well, style inspiration is everywhere. This white knit tank top is also my favorite. This top is such a big part of my personal style that I had to wear it while talking about personal style. And of course, I've got the black version here too. If my wardrobe has a programming language, it would be if white, then black. Well, here's a pop of red. I got a second hand and I've been wearing it every summer. Whoever its original owner was, rest assured, I took good care of it. This beige knit tank top is old, like really old but I still can't seem to stop wearing it after so many years. I mean, it still looks amazing, so why would I stop wearing it? I finally got something new here. It looks like the 2000s is making a comeback, so I decided to give this dainty cross strap tank top a try, the only fashion item I approve of from the 2000s. This striped tank top is also new. Funny story, I accidentally cut it while opening the package, so I had to take it to the tailor to shorten the hem. I mean, you wouldn't even notice if I tuck it in. This black silk cami is probably the closest thing to wearing nothing. It's super breathable and also extremely elegant, so hell yes, it's getting in here. I can't wait to wear this milkmaid top again. It's also one of my favorites. Literally everything in here is my favorite. Well, that's kind of the point of a capsule wardrobe, am I right? And yes, this white linen blouse is also my favorite. If there's one other piece that literally defines my personal style in summer, this would be it. I love the white linen blouse so much that I got one that looks the exact same in beige. The shade of beige also matches perfectly with a pair of beige linen shorts I have. When I come across a winner like this, say no more, just take my money. A casual white t-shirt is a must in summer. I wore my old t-shirt so much last summer that it somehow just ripped, so I had to reorder the exact same one. It's my third one already. This black t-shirt, on the other hand, is extremely resilient. It's still the same black t-shirt I wore over two years ago, and it's still kicking. I used to think jean shorts are not my style, but I couldn't have been more wrong. They turned out to be the thing I wore the most last summer. It just feels great to liberate my legs. These are the beige linen shorts I just mentioned. I mean, just look at them. These shorts and my new linen blouse are legit a match made in heaven. I can't believe I helped them find each other. I think these white linen shorts are perfect for a Tuscan summer, because these are Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts are known to be the quintessential classy summer shorts. And likewise, these black Bermuda shorts are just as perfect. Who needs new shorts when the perfect ones have just been lying around in the closet? This beige linen skirt is so old, I'm kind of surprised that it's still kicking. I think it sort of has a Tuscan summer vibe too, so why not? I literally have two skirts in summer, and this is the other one. Linen and silk are both my favorite summer fabrics, because they make me feel like I'm not wearing anything, but I am. 
These cropped white jeans are specifically reserved for spring and summer. I love denim so much that I now have different jeans for different seasons. I know, I've changed. I've worn these blue jeans to death, seriously. I've been wearing them non-stop throughout all seasons. This particular pair of jeans is literally a workhorse that has no vacation. And this pair of black white leg pants is like the senior staff that doesn't ever get to retire. It's probably my oldest piece of clothing here. I just can't stop wearing these pants. I'm aware that these white linen white leg pants are basically just the pants version of my white linen shorts or the longer version of my cropped white jeans, but lengths do matter. And yes, I decided to get the pants version of my beige linen shorts, but I got them a size too small and they're kind of strangling me, so I had to send them back and order a bigger pair. Overshirts are important in summer, because it could either get chilly at night or the air conditioner would be blasting. Truth be told, I ended up wearing this white linen shirt almost every day last summer. And on the days I wasn't wearing the white linen shirt, I would be wearing this striped linen shirt. I literally only had these two overshirts in my capsule, and that was a rookie mistake. Having learned my lesson, I'm including this white cable knit sweater in this capsule. I might be overreacting, but I don't care. I'm gonna bring it just in case. Knowing the programming language of my wardrobe, if white, then black, you wouldn't be surprised I've got a black sweater in here too. Yes, I got it for summer. Call me Quay Quay, but you never know when you're gonna need it. Okay, this might start to look a bit excessive, but I'm also gonna bring this white linen blazer with me for the more formal evening occasions. I'm telling you, I am prepared. This mini denim dress is relatively new. This is a new style I'm trying out this summer. I feel like I've been hiding my legs for no reason, and we're gonna free the legs this summer. I actually don't wear this black silk dress that often because I feel like it's a bit too fancy, but we're going to Italy. I'm just gonna put on my most fancy shit. This black linen dress is hands down my most worn dress in summer. It's just perfect for the days when I wanna look bomb, but also don't wanna put in any efforts, which is most days. I got this polka dot dress secondhand last year, and it's been one of my favorite dresses. It's classy and sexy, it's just the best of both worlds. This sweetheart white dress is new. I know it looks exactly the same as an old one I had, but that one actually lost its shape, so I replaced it with the exact same style, except it's linen. Well, when I like something, I just stick with it. How can I leave this bow tie linen dress home if we're going to Italy? This dress also fits the classy and sexy category, and I just have a thing for white dresses in summer, so it's coming with me. When I said I have a thing for white dresses, I meant it. I know it's another white linen dress, but it kind of has a completely different vibe, you know? At least that's how I justify it to myself. This bodycon striped maxi dress is also a new style I'm trying out this summer. I don't normally like bodycon dresses because I feel like they're too sexy, but when it's long like this, I think it's just right. This black bodycon dress is more for special occasions only. What special occasions, you may ask? Well, there might be a date or two, so you've got to be prepared for all situations. And this red fitted dress is also for special occasions only. You don't just go on one date, you might go on two dates. And it's kind of nice to have options, right? Let me quickly go through the shoes, bags, and accessories I'll be using to tie the looks together. Of course, I'm gonna bring my flat leather sandals that I bought in Florence to Florence. They finally get to pay a visit to their hometown. I'll also bring these black flats. There's gonna be a lot of walking in Florence, and these are just easy to walk in. These black heel sandals are more for special occasions, wink wink. I'll also bring these estrogels. I know they're more French than Italian, but I think they're just perfect for a summer trip to Europe. As for bags, of course I'll be bringing my low straw bag. It's just really easy to carry around. And this tiny little handbag is for going out in the evenings. I'll also bring my little backpack for going to school, but I actually left my backpack in China, so I had to ask my mom to mail it to me. I think it's taking a plane right now, so it's still somewhere up in the sky. I simply must bring this straw boulder. It's an essential piece for my summer style. And this black bucket hat, also another signature piece. And of course, I don't go anywhere without my sunglasses trio. Okay, that's it. I know it's a lot of stuff that I'll be bringing, but I don't want to have any regrets in Italy. You know why? Because my new life motto is YOLO. By the way, there's not going to be an outfit example video following this one, but better yet, you get to see how I actually style these pieces while I'm in Italy. 
I'm gonna go there in July and I'm gonna document my outfits every single day. So expect to see that video sometime in August. Until then, I'll still have other videos coming up, so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!